Hi everybody, here's another quick update on the Open Smartwatch project. So this weekend I've been testing prints of the case for the light edition made out of TPU. And the idea is that to get it more water resist, we have to avoid all those seams here on the side and any holes that we have where the buttons go through. So going for any tolerances that the to tolerances are tight enough that there's no water seeping through is impossible with um, FDM 3D printing. So the idea is to print everything in one piece, just with one tiny hole here on this side for the USB port. But I think we can plug this with some kind of silicone stopper to a certain degree. And um, this is the result so far. So this is printed in one piece and let's see if I can still push the buttons. So it turns on and I can switch through the modes with this button. Of course, we lose a nice haptic feedback of the, the clickiness with this soft button thing here by pushing the two TPU inside. So there are creases here inside which give the, the case more flexibility. Otherwise everything is printed uh, with 100% infill and um, we need this to have enough strength in the corners here that it doesn't flex too much that the straps still hold. And the next test that I will be doing maybe later today is to print this bottom part stop the print when it reaches this height, insert the module, add a sheet of pr protective um, transparency here, and then let the, finish, uh, the print finish. And we'll see how it goes. So I will be doing some testing, how I can print on this sheet here, what kind of sheet or transparency I need that the, the TPU actually sticks to it, so it also needs to bond at this, at this place. And if that works, the case will be closed everywhere despite a USB port. Of course, if you want to get creative and also get rid of that, you can go with flashing via Wi-Fi and inductive charging. But um, no, this is not the way I'm going, but everything is open source. So if you want to fork this and create something else, feel free to do that. And um, I will be experimenting with this because I like the challenge of actually building a, a watch that, can, that you can use in your daily life uh, that doesn't look maybe as, as clunky as the GPS edition does. So let me know what you think in the comments. Thanks for watching and see you next time.